our journey to Jamestown begins by boat. A ferry ride from Surrey County offers a view much like what settlers likely saw more than four centuries ago. We're standing just down from the hill where the colonists first landed. Those colonists turned this piece of land into the first permanent English settlement in the New World, America's colonial capital until 1699. It is a lovely landscape because when they took the capital off of here and moved it to Williamsburg, the history melted into the earth. Remnants of our nation's birth hidden right under our feet. So they started filling it with the trash. You never know, I guess, really what you're going to find until you get your hands dirty, right? No, absolutely not. And this is a classic case. David Givens leads the team of archaeologists at the Jamestown Rediscovery Project. In the nearly 30 years since this work began, crews have unearthed more than 4 million artifacts including items from when names like Pocahontas called this land home. It's not often that you find artifacts that connect you directly to a person or a thing, but that happens here. Also unique is the access you get. I was able to walk right up to teams sifting through centuries of silt and sand. Visitors are encouraged to ask questions of the crews probably the closest you'll ever come to meeting Indiana Jones. One of the things we're hoping for is that when we take down the bar, we want to see what's underneath. We want the public to come up and engage in the moment of discovery, the process of archaeology. Ooh, isn't that cool? Perhaps nowhere is that engagement more up close than here. Kids are usually very excited that there's a space made for them. At something called the Ed Shed. Natalie Reed runs this space. Cool, look, yeah. here's a fish vertebrae. Designed specifically for little hands to hold pieces of the past. You can pick up artifacts, you can touch them, you can ask questions about them, and uh, actually find some of your own. So what are these? On this day, I found groups of children examining newly found artifacts from the excavation sites. Yeah. Right. Even sorting through 17th century food remains to find evidence of what the settlers ate. I really love it when we have parents that are trying to drag their kids away. We have to go to the museum, we have to go see all these other sites. And the kids are saying, no, 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 I'm gonna keep picking. The kids leave with more than just smiles. Archaeologists' ultimate mission <laughs> is to spark curiosity. We're trying to understand our past. Yeah. Cool. And inspire a new generation <laughs> to dig deeper. It's that story of how we became American because all of that was hammered out on this sacred ground under our feet.